Ah, uh, I've really done it this time. If I fail the makeup exam, I'll have to repeat another year. Well, if it's that serious, I can look after your studies. You're my lifesaver! You don't have to butter me up. Just focus on studying. I'm Ken Honda, a sophomore at university. The girl who's offering to look after my studies is Mary. We've been childhood friends since kindergarten, but lately she's been acting strangely and I have no idea why. So, for this question, the professor said it's best to look at it from another angle. Um, okay. You've really got to be aware that you're doing makeup exams because you're not paying enough attention in class. Yeah, but that aside... My parents are always busy with work, traveling around all over the country. It's been like that since I was a kid, and Mary's parents have always taken care of me. Mary's parents and elder sister are nice people. I remember playing games with them like a true family member, but that was until I moved up to grade school. We got distant as we grew older, and now we're just neighbors who make small talks when we come across each other. Well, that's how we were until Mary started approaching me in university. Um, you're close. What did you say? Well, aren't we too close? I'm cold. In this heat? It's still summer. Maybe I have a cold. Go to the hospital. Will you take me? I have to study for my makeup exam. That's true. You know, I don't want to sound condescending or rude, but I think your academic level doesn't suit this university in the first place. Why were you so enthusiastic about this university? I have a goal. That is, to prove to my parents that I'm not an underachiever with bad grades. When they came home from work seldomly, they would always look at me and my grades disappointedly and I couldn't stand that. I devoted all my energy to studying and managed to slip past the entrance exam. The university was one rank above my mother's alma mater, and I thought I'll be able to show my parents what I was truly capable of. I heard Mary was aiming for the same university, and I felt even more determined not to fall behind her. Were you eager to spend your campus life with me? What? Graduating this school means I can outsmart my parents, and I didn't want to lose to you either. I knew you would pass the exam. You're so smart. Oh, just that? It's a very touching story, isn't it? Anyway, my plan will fall apart if I end up repeating another year, so I can't afford to fail any more courses. I'll study hard without slacking off. Now that you bring up the topic, don't you think smart students all seem to be enjoying their life with romance and stuff? How about you, Kent? Are you seeing anyone? Not that I want you to have a girlfriend. What? You don't want me to be in a relationship? You don't seem to care about my happiness at all. Do you hate me? Well, if anything, I... What about you? You're very pretty. Don't waste your time on me. Go find some handsome guy. Do you fancy anyone? Actually, there is someone I fancy. Good for you. Then you better stay away from me before that guy thinks I'm your boyfriend. How could you say that? What? I'm giving you serious advice. So, what's the guy's name? Kent. Huh? The guy I like is called Kent. I see, Kent. Quite an average name, huh? Don't you realize you're dissing your own name? I'm quite an average person myself. There's nothing I'm proud of. Now I'm starting to feel a sense of intimacy with your Kent. Tell me, what do you like about him? Everything, except his stupidity. If he's that stupid, don't you get tired of being with him? Yeah, sometimes. Thought so. I mean, you have a right to fall in love with anyone. But a dense guy can be oblivious to people's feelings. You're probably going to go through a tough time. Yeah, that's how I feel right now too. Poor you. As an old friend, come talk to me whenever you want if you need someone to hear you out. If you say so. Can I vent to you right now? Sure, go ahead. I'll take it in. This guy, he's so dense that he never seems to understand my feelings. What can I do to get my feelings through to him? Well, if he can't take a hand, say it directly. Okay then. I love you. What? What, what was that? Is can't nearby? He is. Right next to me. I don't get it. I'm the only one next to you. Yeah. It's obvious that there's only one Kent here. Uh... I love you. Oh, yeah? 
Am I the can't you were talking about? Duh! Never thought you were dense yourself? Now that you've said it, maybe I am. At least you're aware now. So what's your answer? I'm sorry. <sighs> A week later. <laughs> I hate this awkwardness. Although I've done enough preparation for the exam, I'm not sure if I can give it my all in this situation. Mary and I have been friends long enough that we've experienced both good and bad times. There were moments in junior high when we were quite rough with each other. What's your problem? What did I do? Right back at you. Why are you sulking? This is how I always am. No way. You used to call me Mary in such a sweet voice back in kindergarten. I don't remember. You don't remember, huh? Shall we ask my sister then? Yeah, yeah, all right. I did call you Mary. Got any problem with that? Stop looking down on me. We had some rough times like that, but we've never been as awkward as this. I'm completely lost with what to do. Follow me to the next lecture room. What? Just come. Y y yes Kent and Sister Mikkel? What are they doing here? Wait, I think I saw someone. Am I seeing things? The lady who had been collecting the exam sheets is Mako. She is Mary's elder sister and the university's assistant professor. D d d did I do something wrong? I know I'm stupid and that I have to retake the tests, but... I'm just amazed at your stupidity. It's not news to you, is it? Even if you were born stupid, I'd like you to have some kind of idea why you were brought here. But I've absolutely no idea! Stop acting innocent. Mary's been crying at home all week, and you're the only reason I can think of. What did you do to her? M me Say it or you won't pass this course. You'll be repeating another year. Huh? No way. I could accuse Mako of abusing her authority, but there's no use going against her. Plus, I felt indebted to her since I was little. I had no choice but to tell her everything. Hmm, I see. So you turned Mary down. I did. Why did you turn down our cute little baby? I do admit her cuteness, but... Then why did you refuse her? Seems like there really is no medicine to cure a fool. I'll let your stupid actions slide this time, but make sure you clear up things between Mary and then go ask her out on a date. I do want to patch things up, but I have no intention of going out with her. I'm already swamped with studying, and since we know each other's flaws, it's hard for me to see her in a romantic way. I didn't quite hear the later part, but anyway, the first step towards a couple is to get rid of that awkwardness. Go ask Mary out on a date. It felt like Meiko and I weren't on the same page, but I followed her suggestion because I knew she wouldn't listen to me. After all, I do want to make up with Mary. On Sunday, I invited Mary to an amusement park. It's rocking! Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. Why are you making that sound? Just because. We were still awkward at first, but the tension gradually loosened. We were soon back to our normal selves. Uh, it's been ages since I came to an amusement park. Since grade school, maybe? Yes, we came together. Yeah. Hey, why do you love me? That was sudden. There is no special reason, really. It seems like I was in love with you long before I knew it. You might not have realized, but I've had feelings for you since junior high. Junior high? I can only remember how rough we had been. I was just too embarrassed to say. I see. Huh? Um, will you give me a second? What's up? I'll be back in a minute, promise! Uh, Alright. Looks like you guys have made it up nicely. You followed us? I was worried. I hope you can show that enthusiasm somewhere else then. What did you say? Nothing. At this rate, it's just a matter of seconds before you guys start dating. M Mako? Uh, hey, Mary! <laughs> what a coincidence! I know this isn't a coincidence. You followed Kent, didn't you? Uh, don't get me wrong. Nothing is wrong. I saw you two speaking secretly in an empty room some days ago. I also know that you also had feelings for Kent for a long time. I can feel it because we're siblings. <sighs> Stop glossing things over. Tell me the truth. You're right. 
I love him. I knew it. You traitor. Cheater. Be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Mako? Is it true that you love me? People say dumb kids are cute, don't they? I think it's true. You were small, weak, and need a care, and I gradually found myself growing fond of you. I knew Mary liked you too, so I was determined to hold back my feelings. After all, I'm the elder sister. Uh... But now Mary hates me. W what do I do now? It's okay. You just have to make it up to her. I'll set things up for you. Uh, I'll see you guys around then. D don't try and run away. Mako? Mary, you've got nothing to worry about. I'll step aside and he's all yours now. <sighs> and I did not go behind your back with him. It's true. Believe me. Mako. <sighs> I might have said too much earlier, too. I'm sorry. Thanks for believing me. There's no need for you to step aside. Ken has already turned me down, and he's nobody's yet. Let's play it fair and square. Mm. I'd never want to go out with him knowing you had sacrificed yourself. I want to play it fair so I can accept whatever the outcome may be. Alright. Mary, seems like you've really grown up. But be aware, I won't hold back anymore. Mary and Mako seem to have amended things and now everything was back to normal. Well, back to normal might not be the right word. Somehow, the sisters started competing with each other to get me. Ah! My arms are gonna tear apart! I'm having a date with him today. No way! That will be two dates in a row. It's my turn next. I have no idea why things turned up like this. I have no intention of going out with either of them. Rock? Paper? Scissors! Yay! I win! I get a date Ken today! Uh, Mary! Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time! Bye!